Hello, and thank you for accepting our invitation to happiness. And in this program, we'll be discussing the teachings of the Living Buddha and Modern Savior, Master Riho Okawa. I was a Buddha, and I'm now a real Buddha. But uh, I need to be a Savior. Like to have Master have his own heart, have his heart stop, like not beating at all, and to completely live through that. It was about 100 billion years ago. A few hundred of these human spirits were materialized onto Earth. It's incredible how he knows not just the history of this Earth, but he was also talking about other planets. Or think about why are we here on Earth now, though? You think about your life from a much grander perspective, so like you can look at it much deeper. Nobody would have these terrible thoughts in their mind and kind of be forced to do things that make them not feel good after if I think if the devil wasn't present in our world. Well, that is gonna illuminate all your flaws, your demons, you know, your darkness, the evil that is inside of you and to be seen and forgiven no one can defeat El Cantare in this world and in another world. You know, a lot of people are so busy on Instagram or on their phones or whatever, <laughs> and they kind of clog up that energy mm -hmm. of seeking. What the president of a country is thinking right now, I'm able to do so. This power of insight that the modern savior has, mm. it's reaching a level where it's actually concretely influencing all of the political leaders in the world. Faith can cure anything. On your true self as a spirit body that is like a perfectly round golden orb. Please meditate on this before you sleep at night. But this song in particular, oh my gosh, it sounds like a Oscar award-winning soundtrack. Uh, Master once gave the comment, it's like looking at a mountain from different angles. You're always so good at looking at others. Self-reflection is, it, it requires discipline. I say to you all around the world, a fight has only just begun. It's so hard to really grasp it. <laughs> Give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. But we must now do away with this saying. Here, with the new modern savior, it's like, you know, fundamentally, God's teachings is that the good shall prosper. I was like, yes! You were born to illuminate the world. These are the words of the God of Earth, El Kantare. Never forget this again. Creating this utopia where the differences in religion, in our cultures, in countries, in nations, can be unified and integrated and harmonized. And I can resonate with that. I feel it in my heart. If you chose to turn on TV at this time, don't think that it's a coincidence. Something is guiding you. What is it? 